Hi, Ben here, and welcome back to the workshop for another Work in Progress Wednesday. Apologies that we haven't managed to keep you updated the last few weeks. Been lots on, lots of work going on outside while the weather's good, and also we've been head down in the workshop as well. So at the moment, we've got lots of knives in various stages. We've got a whole tray full of knives here that have got some really nice handle materials on that we're hopefully going to get shaped up. Some of these are for the show, the first show in however many years, 18 months of not being able to attend shows. Some of these will be at the Wilderness Gathering. That's going to be the first event that we're going to be at this year. So if you're attending that, come along and you should see some of these knives all finished off. So yeah, lots on the bench in various stages, a little bit chaotic. But uh, one of the biggest achievements that we've managed to get this last few weeks is to move a major piece of equipment. I've been kind of putting it off because it's big and heavy. And also I knew that I wouldn't fit it through this door. So what we've managed to do is move the surface grinder, but we had to basically take out this door and part of the wall in order to get it through. But fortunately, a good friend, Tom, lent us these amazing moving machines. These are like little, uh, little caterpillar tracks almost that can cope with some pretty heavy equipment. So we managed to get the surface grinder up on these and then get the surface grinder all the way through into the grinding room. So it's a big achievement because basically now I've got all of the grinders that create a lot of dust all in one place. So I can shut the door, I can get the extraction on. So hopefully it's gonna keep the whole of the workshop out there cleaner and stop that dusk migrating upstairs to where Lois is working as well. So yeah, thanks Tom, thanks for lending us those rollers and I don't know how we would have done it without it really, but uh, yeah, big achievement and we'll also show you what else we've been working on this week as well. So we've got a few knives completed, ready to go to the show. Some that we've got with ABL blades and Kydex sheaths. So we've got a few of those. So we've got some Woodlanders and we've even got a couple of these nice camp crafts as well. So they've got that fantastic little self-locking Kydex sheath. So this is pretty much an all-weather knife. So we'll have a couple of those at the show. And then hopefully we're going to bring along some of the Ed Stafford knives as well. A few people have been asking that they wanted to see the sort of finished result on the Ed Stafford range. So we should have a Nomad, one of the bush tools, the Woodlander bush tools, and then the signature as well. And we've also just finished off a little run of Atomaxes as well. So... We've got sort of choices now. So you've got two choices of steel thickness in the carbon steel. So you've got 2.5 mil thick if you want a nice slender little slicer. And then we've got the original 3.5, which is a little bit thicker. Gives you a slightly wider bevel for those people that are wanting an ease of sharpening. Obviously, the wider the bevel is, the better it is. And <clears throat> we've also got them in ABL steel as well now. So if you want an all-weather tool... These work really nicely with the Kydex sheaths. I've actually got one myself in Hunter Orange Kydex, and I've even took it to the seaside and I've actually had it uh, while I've been swimming. It's a good little sort of backup little blade if you want to sort of cut string or open up your packed lunch or whatever while you're on the beach. So the ABL is fantastic. It works really nicely, especially around salt water. But the other little addition that we've added to all the atoms now we were sort of thinking what else could we get it to do when you're out and about so obviously you've got your cutting tool that you can pretty much use for any means of cutting whether it be lighting a fire making tinder doing food prep but obviously if you're going to be using it for lighting your fire we wanted to be able to use it with a fire steel so up until now we've radiused all the edges so there was no square edges on there the only sharp edge being the actual cutting edge itself but you wouldn't want to use that on your fire steel because you'd damage it so what we've done now is we've actually left this top edge square and because of the nature of it and the shape of it, it makes a perfect little fire striker. So I'm hopefully going to make some of these little scout fire steels. These are the smaller diameter fire steels. And if you've got one of those with your atom, you've got the means of making your fire. So you can use that back edge of the axe itself and use it to create a real nice shower of sparks off that small little scout fire steel. So two things combined, you've got pretty much everything from creating your feather sticks and your tinder to be able to ignite it with a, an antler fire steel as well. So yeah, great little little uh, fire set really. So excited to bring a few of those to the show as well. So lots on, lots to finish. 
Uh, and obviously with the weather being so nice as well, it's tempting to be outside and go for a walk on the Malvern Hills, but we've got to be dedicated. We've got to stick with the program. So we'll get all these finished off. And if we don't see you before, we'll hopefully see you at the Wilderness Gathering. But we will try and get some more videos done so that you can see what we're working on right up to the show deadline. And yeah, remember to subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.